Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Gifted Monkey TV, all things toy and toy related. I'm your host, Jordan Preston. When we come back, we're going to take a look at a figure from the guys over at Hot Toys from the movie Captain America Civil War that just might wind up being the king of your Civil War collection. <laughs> Respect the monkey! All right, all, keeping with the promise of the awesomeness, here we are with the one six scale Hot Toys Black Panther from the hit movie Captain America Civil War. And this is a great figure. I got the feeling it's going to be a fantastic figure. So let's first take a look at this box. This box from Hot Toys Civil War uh, series is really nice. In fact, you can also do some probably nice background uh, diorama work with this box. Those of you who are inclined to do good dioramas with photos and stuff in the backdrop, this is pretty nice. We start out with a picture of the, of the Black Panther right there. It says Marvel, Captain America Civil War, Black Panther, Hot Toys, Real Toys, and right there at the bottom, all that stuff. On the side, we get them in battle. We see a nice side, nice view of... Um, Winter Soldier up top, we see the Falcon, we see a Quinjet up top, no that's not a Quinjet, sorry, we see a Falcon, we see uh, Wedwing, his mechanical little pal up there. We see Iron Man going at it with Captain America, we see Giant Man's hand going over there, we see Black Widow as we turn it around to that side, and then we see the rest of Black Panther's hand. We got a nice little emblem of Black Panther over there, and on the back there's also all the indicia of Black Panther and the people who made this for me from Hot Toys. United we stand, divided we fall. Very nice. On the top, it just has that Black Panther name on it. And on the bottom, it says Civil War. So let's crack this puppy up and see what we got going on. The box is a nice sleeve box. Take that off simply like that. And there we have a nice, like a almost like a red, reddish, brownish red uh, colored inlay box for Black Panther. You see Black Panther all in here in all his glory right in the plastic clamshell. On the top it says Black Panther. On the side it says Black Panther. One six scale MMS figure. The back it tells you all the great people who are responsible for giving us this wonderful figure. All right, let's crack it open and let's see what we got. Now, Black Panther didn't come with a lot of accessories, but then again, in the movie Captain America Civil War, he didn't use a lot of things, or many things, if at all, to be accessorized with. The most glaring omission, however, that Hot Toys did not include with this Black Panther is a sculpted head of T'Challa without the mask of the actor Chadwick Boseman, which would be great. But I bet you dollars to donuts that's coming with the Black Panther movie. They'll have a version of that. So kudos to you, Black Panther and Hot Toys. we got to get the new ones of you when that comes out. What he did come with is these standard fists that come on him. That come in the box. I took them off for you guys just for the sake of this review. Look at that difference, how they have the sculpted, very bright black on there like that, wet black, and then it bleeds right into a nice dull black up by the knuckles. Nice. And then you get all that detail again. It goes back to the wet look. Sorry, wet look black on the back of the hand. Very nice detail. Very nice detail. Then we have the grasping static hands right here and kind of like an action -y pose, but with the nails and claws retracted. So you get a nice smooth look like that with just the fingers. Again, look at that sculpting, that magnificent sculpting. Almost look like paw prints on the middle of his hands. Those are awesome. You see even the light, how they turn some are, some are wet look, shiny, and then it goes into dullness. And they look like fabric. I love that. Very nice stuff. And then we have the money shot hands right here. The hands with the claws out. And all you Black Panther people are probably going to display your Black Panther with the claws out. We could throw away the other hands if need be because this is the claws right here, man. Look at that. Nice and sharp. They look fantastic. And these nails are sharp. So if you have any kitties around that are playing with them or you're playing with these real close, be careful because they are sharp. They're hard plastic and they're sharp. But look at the details in those gloves with the extended hands. Very nice. Very nice up to the claws. Love it. Then it comes with the, of course, the stand says Captain America Civil War, and it says Black Panther on it. The Captain America Civil War again on the plaque, crotch-grabbing stand, 
goes right in there, and then you just raise it, take it out, raise it as you wish to get your Black Panther elevated for nice jumping and kicking poses or the nice standing museum pose. You like that, it comes with a little brochure. Tells you to be very careful with the posing of Black Panther because of the material on his costume. Tells you not to try to remove the uh, jewelry or the, the uh, necklace that he has on it because it's, it's in the, so, sewn into the costume. So don't try to take it off or you'll destroy the costume. Be careful of breaking the nails because they're hard plastic. And be careful with the pivot of your head and how to pivot his head correctly so you don't throw it out of joint or wear and tear the material around the neck area. And of course, the extra pegs for legs and hands. All right, let's take a look at the articulation on our Black Panther. This guy is so badass, but we'll get into that in a minute. Right now, let's check out the articulation. Black Panther has nice articulation on his head. His head can go up about that much, looking up into the trees at the buildings, going down about this much. Nice downward look on his head. Look at that. Nice downward look on his head, looking off the top of a rooftop, off of trees, as the Black Panther would do in his native Wakanda. Full rotation, 360 on him like that. Nice head swivel. Nice right and left head swivel. Let's see, the neck doesn't move at all. The head does all the action. So the neck doesn't do any type of major movement. The head just goes up and down, does that. Shoulder goes up about this much. Nice shoulder, restricted only by the fact of the, the suit. You can probably get a full 360 rotation in there too, but again, with this restriction of the suit, you can't do that. But it's a nice, you don't need it that much. Look how far out that goes and how nice that looks. You don't need that much. He gets into a nice lot of action poses. Nice mid bicep swivel right there at the top of the bicep. There we go. Again, restricted by the suit movement. Double, double bend in the elbow, but again, restricted by the suit movement and by the hard bracelet that's on his top of his uh, gauntlet on top of his glove. His hands don't get a lot of swivel. They get minimal swivel, like that up, that down. That's it total rotation of his hands though you do get all right let's see what else we got black panther had does have a little bit of an ab crunch right there you can feel it right in there again goes down about that much goes up about that much nice you get total waist rotation but again restricted by this suit because it's a onesie the suit is a onesie so there's not like a cut in it to do it it just restricts it Legs go up about that much, which is kind of a bummer because he is a very athletic uh, character. But his legs go up about that much, but he's good for squatting. Go back about that much. Also, you see the crinkles that come into your suit if you move it too much. There is no rotation of the calf at all. It doesn't rotate. The boots on him are solid soldered into the, into the uh, costume, so there's no rotation on that. Get a nice double-jointed knee bend on both those knees like that. Wonderful. Wonderful. So you can kick him like that. You do get a nice full degree swivel rotation on his leg. And you do get a nice ankle pivot. Look at that ankle pivot. Nice. Goes back about that much. Up about that much. So they did give you a nice play on the feet. And look at the bottom of the treads. It gave you treads on that feet on his uniform. Very nice. Nice touch. So he gets nice movement. I don't know how much you want to move this guy because of this costume. Now this costume feels like a like a um, a rubber, almost if you look at the Visions costume from Hot Toys or the Batman v Superman costume, or even maybe the older iterations of your Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man costume from Hot Toys. It's that type of skin tight feel and the Superman, Batman v Superman costume. It's that skin feel, uh, skin tight. Uh, plastic feel on it like it's a definitely good fit onto the body and it gets good movement but it feels like it's an illusion but it feels like if you move it too much you will co you can possibly cause tears in this fabric so I would say not not to change him frequently get him in a pose you like and keep him there for a few months also when you keep somebody like this in a pose for a few months you might run the risk of the wrinkle when you put it back to its regular pose it might have the wrinkle in it but usually when you just futz around with it like that and, and adjust it it goes away so that's it let's take a look at this overall costume 
This Black Panther figure by Hot Toys is phenomenal. I tell you, when Hot Toys is on point, burning on all cylinders like they did with that Batman v Superman, traditional Batman uh, figure they had last year, that was phenomenal. This Black Panther figure is just phenomenal. Look at the piping uh, that goes along the, the, the intricacies that go along the mask, around the ears. A nice mix of silver, nice mix of shiny pieces, as well as flat, matte pieces. You see all kind of woven things into the mask that make it like more than just a helmet. You can tell there's all type of electronics and cutting edge state of the art stuff going on inside this helmet. Almost like Tony Stark's helmet uh, on Iron Man almost but for Black Panther. Look at that. Nice hard plastic necklace that's on him. It is um, glued onto the costume so it's not movable and articulate. Very nice. Nice again. Look at the piping and all there. Look at the gauntlets. Those gauntlets also are glued onto the wrist, plast hard plastic with the nails. They did a great physique, vis, uh, physique on him. Some people say the legs are a little stubby, but you know what? I think for the, uh, the biology of what Chadwick Boseman's body was and for how he looked in the Black Panther, that looked a lot like the actual uh, person did in the movie, particular to that person. It looked great. If you take, I'm taking a full look around, you see all the intricacy. Look at that back. Nice. And they gave him a great V shape, which I always like on my superheroes. There's a nice, uh, solid, clear V shape on him. Nice. With the lats and everything. Very good. Nice, strong butt, too. Gave him a good butt on that. I like the way they made him look on that. Nice silhouette of a figure. Very nice. This costume is skin tight, and it looks fantastic. You see where the boots come in around the side. Very good. On the thighs, you see the nice intricate parts of the costume come in. The nice piping around the top of the boots. This is really some good work. And then you also see on the, on the actual bottom of the boots, all the details of the boots that you probably didn't even get to see in the movie. This is so cool. They even give you slight claw-like effects on, the, on his feet, on his toes. Those slight little hard plastic -y to uh, Hard plastic uh, mounts on his toes that look like claws almost. Great. You do get a little gappage in his foot like that when he's moved. You see that little gappage? But if you put him in an extreme pose, the gappage goes away. And I think that's why they did it. Because I think they know most people are going to put this guy in some type of bending, leaping, or uh, squatting pose. And they wanted to give you maximum articulation for that. Since they don't give you a lot of leg lift room. Very nice on this guy. His costume is phenomenal. Even the eyes are great. You can see the eyes on the inlay in there. Fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed our look at the 1-6 scale Black Panther from the movie Captain America Civil War. This guy is badass. In my opinion, I love it. In my opinion, also one of the best figures that Hot Toys has uh, produced this year of 2016 slash 17. Just a wonderful, wonderful looking figure. I love this figure very much. Um, the details, the, the costuming, even the things that you didn't see actually in the movie because he was always in motion, they put in here that when you look at it, you go, wow, I never know that was in the, in the movie, but it looks so fantastic on here. His posability, look, he's standing by himself without a stand. So all you guys like myself who like to pose your Hot Toys figures without a stand and to get them in dioramas and stuff, he's a perfect candidate for that. Uh, this is just a phenomenal thing. The claws, the detail to attention on all this thing, with the exception of the Chadwick Boseman head that they did not include, but I'm sure it's coming with the movie Black Panther. Uh, he would have been pristine. He would have been 100%. So I'd knock a little bit off of that non-Chadwick Boseman head. But uh, the Black Panther himself is fantastic. He runs you about one... Four, I'm sorry, about 240, somewhere in that range, 225, 240, with tax and license out the door from Sideshow. Uh, I think he's sold out now at Sideshow. You probably get him on a secondary market. And I think he's running right now as of uh, April, May 2017. He's running about $300 plus on eBay. So if you can find him for a good affordable price, though, he is well worth the, the, uh, uh, the addition to your collection. Should you get him? You guys that are 
that are not interested in putting a civil war diorama together, a civil war collection together from the hot toys and from the movie, then maybe you'll pass on Black Panther if he's not one of your favorite Marvel characters. you probably pass on him. But all you guys that collect things Marvel and that also collect statues and hot toys action figures and you like Marvel characters and just cool superhero characters, this is without a doubt an add-on in addition to your collection. It'll make it pop because the way he looks is so cool. And it's the first time ever for a 12-inch articulate Black Panther action figure. Well done, fully posable. It is fantastic. So because of those milestones, I think yes, check. He is definitely somebody you should get. Let me know down below. Did you guys get this Black Panther already? Do you like him? Will you order this Black Panther? What do you think about the way he looks and the omission of the Chadwick Boseman sculpt head that they didn't bring one in it? What do you think? Write down below and let me know because, you know, I always get back to you guys. And also, if you liked our show today, hit like button down there and subscribe. we got other shows we scroll down there from Gifted Monkey TV. Also, check us out on Pinterest and Facebook because we got a lot of stuff on there that we don't show on the YouTube channel. And we thank you guys for subscribing. We're on our way past 2,000 subscribers. We're building. We're small, but we are mighty thanks to you guys. So thank you for joining us. And remember, collecting and playing with toys, even a 1-6 scale. Black Panther figure from the hit movie Captain America Civil War by Hot Toys can be as fun as a barrel of monkeys. But respect the monkey. Play nice. Take care, guys.